Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 25th through the 31st. I apologize for the delay, but when duty calls, duty calls. So, you know, I had to run, and it's just the way it goes. Um, so yeah, what do we have for Pisces? Now keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. And every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead. Overall energy, please. Judgment. Judgment. Judgment is a card of absolution, forgiveness, resurrection, acceptance the end of things so we do have it's almost like you know judgment day judgment day is the end of things it's where you release and you accept and you forgive and you move on from a bad choice you hope for forgiveness somebody may be hoping for forgiveness there could also be some sort of reconciliation here I hate to show my fingers I haven't had a chance to get my nails done and I'm all cut up uh, from moving things so Anyhow, there could be some sort of uh, reconciliation by the looks of things. I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like. Now, judgment is ready to be judged. So we have somebody here that is ready to be judged. There's some sort of truth that is coming out as well. This is truth revealed. This is also karma and being held accountable, responsibility being assigned. This is also an awakening, an epiphany of some sort, a wake-up call. So somebody may be getting a wake-up call. This is definitely the end of something. You think about judgment, you think the, at the end of a trial, we've reached the end. We have. This is it. I'll take that one. Moving on from a bad choice by the looks of things probably going to be, you know, that's the end. It is the end. I mean, Judgment Day is the end. Bat, take care. Enemies are working against you. Bo, you are highly thought of. So you do have an enemy working against you. Maybe that's in the past. You are highly thought of. Maybe that's right now. Um, but this is the end of a situation no matter what. Um, absolution. Life-changing decision is being made this week. What do we have for Pisces? Four of Swords, Reverse. We'll lay out the cards on the table. And then we're going to go from there. So a star card is a card of wish fulfillment, a dream coming true, hoping. Somebody may be hoping for a reconciliation or hoping for a release, hoping for an ending. If that is what you're hoping for, your wish is going to be granted. So there's definitely a wish that is going to be granted this week of some sort. Um, it looks as though there's been some... So somebody's looking for love. Have they been looking for love with the Knight of Cups that's in the past? You know, that's a lover. That is somebody that is a lover that is very charming, uh, very sweet. But next to the hermit reversed, that is time to reconnect. Somebody may want to reconnect. This is coming out of hiding. And I feel like, I don't know if somebody has been hiding their feelings. I mean, the hermit reversed is hiding. It's hiding something. Somebody's been hiding something. But it's coming out of hiding. It's time to socialize. There could be a reconnection here. 
but I feel like there's a midlife crisis. Somebody's been experience a made the mid experiencing a midlife crisis. Maybe they were looking for love or looking for a relationship, and they may have gotten themselves in a situation, you know, because they were lonely, and now they're exhausted and they're fed up, and they've reached the end of that. Uh, trial. It feels like somebody has tried something and, you know, it hasn't worked out because the Eight of Pentacles reverses something not working out. The Eight of Swords is uh, a time of reevaluation. Somebody has been in a situation where there's been a lot of mental turmoil. They've been trapped. It's almost like they've been in prison and they're exhausted and they're fed up. And I feel like now, you know, they're wishing and hoping. It's almost like they're wishing and hoping that you know, they had put in effort with somebody, you know, in the past because judgment is a card of the past. It is definitely a card of the past. So I do feel like right now um, there's been isolation. There's been isolation. Somebody's been thinking a lot. They've been thinking about a lot about a relationship. They've been thinking about love. They've been thinking about what they want. And it's really been causing a lot of mental turmoil, a lot of mental turmoil. And uh, now they may be taking charge because the Six of Wands is somebody that is a hero, somebody that has a lot of confidence, that um, is experienced in winning battles. So it is, there may be somebody that doesn't want to fight anymore and they are uh, finding their confidence and their courage to stop fighting or something like that. Um, the Six of Wands is making progress. It's headed headed towards victory. Somebody with a lot of confidence that doesn't have any fear. That is um, obviously making some sort of life changing decision. Somebody's making a life changing decision right here. Um, I feel like there's been some sort of fear. I feel like there's there has been fear because the moon is about fear. There's also been some sort of illusion. But this is letting go of fear. This is hoping and praying for the best. Somebody's been praying for something. And I, whatever they've been praying for, it's like their their prayers have been heard or something like that, perhaps. But this is not putting in effort. Somebody's not been putting in effort. They ha Something hasn't worked out because of fear, because of illusion, because of fantasy. So this is deep, deep feelings. All is not as it seems. Somebody's definitely been hiding their feelings. And I feel that they haven't been putting in effort because they've been trapped in their thoughts. They've been trapped in their mind. Or they've been trapped in a situation that was safe, but... It wasn't fulfilling to them because there's no love. There's love over here. Somebody's been thinking about what love is and thinking about what they want, but they've been in a place of isolation or solitude and unable to take action because of, you know, that judgment, being judged, being held accountable, you know, having to tell the truth. So, you know, having to tell the truth is a big deal, especially if you think about being in front of a judge, which I'm sure you know, you probably have been, you know, telling the truth isn't always easy because you will be held accountable for your actions. So I think this is about being held accountable and, you know, somebody, I, this is definitely hoping and praying. Now the star card is guaranteed success and this is a card of success as well. If somebody can step outside of their thoughts, can step outside of their fear because this is held back by fear and this is fear as well. So somebody is letting fear and maybe it's, and, and this is rejection. Her hermit reverse is rejection. So somebody may be fearful of rejection. Anyhow, um, I do feel as though there is a chance because the judgment card is another chance. There's a chance. Um, you know, now the Four of Swords is typically the death of a person or idea, but this is uh, exhausted, fed up. Uh, it's time to live. It's time to come out of hiding, express your feelings. So maybe somebody, and it could be you, could be another person. Somebody may be expressing their feelings this week to somebody. Um, because the Knight of Cups is very expressive of their feelings. So you may be expressing your feelings. But with the Hermit Reverse, you never know what could happen because there's some sort of sadness here. It's like there's time to socialize and come out of hiding, but there's, there's, uh, there's a need for confidence. Somebody needs to really have their confidence. And it's about integrity. The Six of Wands is about integrity. It's about being noble and doing the right thing. So it's, it's not always easy to do the right thing, especially when you know that you're going to be judged for your actions. 
So uh, anyhow, I do think this is a week where there's some sort of judgment that is being made or there's a judgment call that is being made. Um, somebody's prayers are, are being heard as well with that star card. You know, the star card is wish fulfillment, dream come true. There could be somebody here that is famous. Both of these cards represent fame and public recognition. So I'm not sure if there is somebody here that is famous or has, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, but this is fame, both of these cards. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is famous. You know, this is a, a star, right? So we do have a star is a star. Um, Eight of Pentacles reverse, not putting in effort, not putting in much work. Something hasn't worked out because somebody uh, was hiding something. That's hiding something. All is not as it seems. There's a lot of fear, extreme fear, um, illusion, you know, and there's also some hidden forces. You know, the star is uh, protection. Judgment is somebody that has passed away guiding you and the star is a guiding light and the moon is all is not as it seems. There's hidden forces. So there is some hidden forces here that are guiding somebody because we have a guiding light. Both of these cards sim symbolize a guiding light. They're guiding somebody. So you're being guided in some direction, but there's there's some sort of mental prison with that Eight of Swords. So we got somebody here that needs to reevaluate, you know, their circumstances. And I think that's what's going on right now. I think right now you're reevaluating your circumstances. I think there's some sort of, you know, extreme tiredness or exhaustion or, or fed up, you know. Um, there could even be some poor health, okay. And there's an opportunity probably to heal something, but it will take courage and confidence and... Uh, strength to do so. So anyway, I feel like this week you're going to need to face your fears in some way and uh, go after your dreams. Go after something that you were dreaming about. I feel like you're having these dreams and you're being guided to follow your dreams. And I also feel like there's divine guidance here. You know, it's like you're being guided. I feel like to follow your heart. But I think that it's a it's a it's a real struggle. I do think it's a real struggle because. I think there's some sort of embarrassment, you know. Um, all is not as it seems. Something didn't work out for a reason. Something didn't work out for a reason. And you need to break free. Or it's not working out for a reason. And you need to break free from that situation. <laughs> so what is this? Eights. We have two eights right next to each other. It's time for change. Eights are about change. You can break free. You can escape the situation that you are in. You can escape. But the only way you can escape is if you find your confidence to do so. We have somebody here that's doing a lot of thinking. They're thinking about their past. This is thinking, thinking, past. They are. They're thinking about their past a lot. Can't be hidden. You can try to hide it until you are blue in the face. Everybody knows. All is not as it seems. There are hidden forces here that are trying to make somebody follow their dreams. No, I can't make anybody do anything, right? Follow your gut. There's a lot of fear of the unknown and somebody is wearing a disguise. There is hope. You have to believe and you have to have faith. Oh, 
Oh my God. Oh, judgment again. Judgment again. So I hope somebody is about to be judged. There's karma here. There is definitely karma. Judgment is a main card of karma. And this absolutely has something to do with the past. I feel like there's a reconciliation with the past. Now it could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody is is maybe going to have another chance with somebody from their past. This is somebody who is very courageous because the Six of Wands is somebody who has a lot of this is the Six of Wands has a lot somebody with a lot of life experience that has fought a hard battle that is done fighting. They're done. They're giving up the fight and they just want peace now. They just want peace and happiness. So somebody is headed towards peace and happiness. Truths are going to be revealed this week. They are. And responsibility is going to be assigned. This is the end of something big. This is making a life-changing decision. Somebody is making a very big life-changing decision. This is like double karma or something like that. These are both. This is double judgment, right? I mean, judgment twice. This is a huge wake up call. Someone from the other side is guiding somebody towards wish fulfillment. But they will have to be honest and truthful. This is definitely the end of a situation. There will be acceptance. There will be acceptance. This is a yes. This is a yes. It is. So there's going to be some sort of somebody is about to be accepted. Whatever that means. If you're going to court for anything, it's going to go in your favor. It may have something to do with a mother and daughter here as well. This is the end of things. There's a lot of respect here. This is respect and this is respect. So we we do have respect. Somebody is, is highly respected. And they're going to get exactly... They're protected. There's protection here. Somebody's going to get exactly what they're asking for. I feel like there's going to be somebody coming in to somebody's life. This is a lover. This is somebody that is going to be acting on their feelings, looking for love, looking for a relationship. So there's somebody coming in that is looking for a relationship. I also feel like it's going to be a very emotional week and the forgiveness is going to be needed. This is about finding peace and a resolution to a situation. A peaceful resolution. There is a victory here because Six of Wands is victory. Yes. So there is some sort of victory that is coming this week that ends something because that is a major ending.
good luck.